Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Mainz and Money 2017, we just arrived in London and our first team interview is here at the offices of Caledonia Mining and uh, we want to speak to Maurice Mason who is the Vice President Corporate Development for an update as a lot of good things happened. Maurice, good morning. Morning Jochen, how are you? Yeah, perfect. Great to be here. Thank you very much. Just flew in. And uh, yeah, let's uh, give a little bit of an update on Caledonia. It's, uh, I mean, we, t we spoke the last time on the roadshow, I think. Uh, that was in um, something in, the, in spring, something like that, That's I would right. call it. And um, yeah, a lot of good things happened. So maybe we can go a little bit step by step. First of all, how is the mine doing? Because uh, let's say some irritations, irritations happened in Zimbabwe the last weeks, but the mine is in good shape and you're producing, right? Uh, the production is unaffected. Um, mm -hmm. The mine is uh, producing uh, very well as, as per normal and as, as according to plan. The, the events in Zimbabwe are, uh, appear to have been peaceful and that's right. encouraging. You know, we do... We do employ over 1,300 Zimbabweans, so obviously uh, it's, it's a concern for them, but this is an issue for them to resolve, and uh, our operations are unaffected. Perfect. That's the most important thing. Everybody's in good shape, and Absolutely. and production is running. Yes. Yeah, let's dive shortly into your nine months uh, numbers, because they have been very good. Maybe you can give us a little bit of an overview there. Yes, it was a good quarter, a good quarter for the business, uh, particularly on the cost side, where our all-in sustaining costs were down to uh, below $800 an ounce, about $773 an ounce. Mm -hmm. That was a, an unusually good quarter, uh, mm -hmm. but it's encouraging to see those numbers coming out and I think a demonstration of what this mine can produce mm -hmm. with the benefits of volume. Mm -hmm. So whilst uh, we probably will be slightly higher than that uh, full term, we're very comfortable with, with our guidance for the year, which is between 810 and 850 mm -hmm. on an all-in cost basis. So, so that's, uh, mm -hmm. uh, things are performing well, not only operationally, but financially, the numbers uh, and the money that the, the business is generating. Yeah. And also the, the cash generation from this business is very healthy. The nine-month cash generation for the mine was almost $17 million. So that's a lot of money. Uh, from, from, for Caledonia at a consolidated level. So that's, uh, for a business our size, yeah. uh, we think that's uh, a very positive uh, yeah. cash generating potential. Was, it, was there a little bit of a, let's say, a special reason why your all-in costs were so low, meaning that you maybe have uh, yeah, had a little bit less investments, but I mean, you're still in perfect shape, right? Uh, we're, in, we're in very good shape. We had yeah. some, uh, the sustaining capital for the quarter was slightly lower than mm -hmm. it has been in previous quarters and, and that it will be for the rest of the year. So that, that pushed the, the all-in sustaining costs mm -hmm. uh, because of the lower sustaining capital down. Yeah. Nothing we're concerned about at this stage. It's three months and uh, we had to balance between uh, the, the expansion capital investment, which is the growth potential of the mine. Mm -hmm. uh, we're growing to 80,000 ounces by mm -hmm. 2021. Uh, so uh, the sustaining capital in the quarter was slightly lower, mm -hmm. uh, but th that, that will come out in the, in the, in the that, that's a, a quarterly movement, which yeah. will be smoothed out longer term. Yeah, okay, super. And uh, you're also paying the dividend still, right? Uh, dividend remains healthy and very well covered. Uh, I think the yield is uh, just below 5% mm -hmm. at the moment, so yeah. a, good, a good yield for a, for a gold mining junior. Yeah. And, and we're certainly, that's a key part of our uh, mm -hmm. uh, investor strategy. Super. Let's come to some, uh, let's say, operational themes here. Uh, you are thinking the shaft. How is that going? That that's progressing well. So the the, uh, the project, the shaft is now at 950 meters below surface. Mm -hmm. I think the, uh, the 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 key development since the last time we spoke on that was that we've made the decision to go deeper with that shaft. Mm -hmm. uh, so originally we were sinking the shaft to 10,000 and sorry to 1,080 meters. Mm -hmm. Uh, and now we've made a decision to go deeper down to 1,330 meters, so an additional 250 meters mm -hmm. with two additional production levels, which is, which is really quite, uh, you know, the, the shaft was already a transformational project for the business and, mm -hmm. and certainly something we were very excited about. This is what's going to deliver the 80,000 ounces for us. Mm -hmm. But to go two levels deeper really gives us an, a, an extension of the mine life. Mm -hmm. It sets this mine up probably for the next, uh, well, it gives us 14 years of life based on the resource. But it gives us, uh, we think, from a capital investment perspective, the ability to continue exploring at depth. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that, that's very encouraging, and it made sense to do it now. Uh, the, these type of projects, while you're already sinking, it's much cheaper and more efficient and less disruptive to continue sinking now yeah. rather than to try and deepen an, an existing production shaft in a mm -hmm. few years' time. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was a decision that we, the board made now, and we think it's a pragmatic decision for the mm -hmm. long-term future. Mm -hmm. About how much money we talk about for those additional 250 so, so meters, and of course, you can finance it out of cash flow, right? Yes, we can. So, so yeah. the incremental cost mm -hmm. uh, to go deeper, the project was, is fully funded from cash flow, but the incremental cost to go deeper at this stage is $18 million. So $10 That's, million dollars yeah. to sink the shaft to deep, to 250 meters deeper, mm -hmm. and another $8 million to, to develop two additional production mm -hmm. levels. And then that sets us up for, for four production levels and additional uh, all the way down to 1,330 meters mm -hmm. and, and really sets the mine up uh, for, the, for many, many years into the future. 
and it's, it's underpinned by the very strong uh, exploration success that we've had at the mine. So the reason we're able to go deeper is because the geologists have been finding more and more gold, and our investment in both uh, in, in, in deep level exploration and, of course, the, the, the time yeah. expended by the geologists has, has yielded very, very good results. Mm -hmm. so, so that's encouraging. And that means the grades are getting also a bit higher then? The deeper Gra you're grade, going? Grade is slightly better in mm -hmm. the current... Uh, the, the, the exploration at depth does show slightly better grade. Mm -hmm. That is, to some extent, a function of where we're exploring and, mm -hmm. to some extent, a function of uh, the fact that the... That, that, that the uh, the, the, the rock, the, the virgin rock in the, in the mine that we haven't, haven't, haven't yet extracted um, it d does give us slightly better grades than places where we've depleted some of the higher grade areas in the past. So, so we're very comfortable with grade continuity. Um, I'm cautious to manage expectation that grade's getting much, much better. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, but, but certainly the grade is, is uh, as we've expected and uh, will lead us to, to probably a higher grade over time. Mm -hmm. uh, let, let's bear in mind that right now we're mining at about three and a half grams a ton head grade, we expect that to trend upwards to about four grams a ton. That's a lot. Which is quite significant yeah. and, and, and from a cost perspective gives Absolutely. you more gold for the same cost. <laughs> exactly, yeah, um, because the lift is the same. <laughs> Absolutely. Everything else is the same. You, the rock factory works the same way. Yeah. You just get a little bit more gold out the back end. So, so that's, yeah. that's also very good. And then the resource update, which is the reason we're doing all this. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, we, we, we announced a resource update a few weeks back and that is giving us an extra 300,000 ounces of gold. So the mm -hmm. total resource base of the mines is now 1.6 million ounces mm -hmm. uh, from an originally 1.3 million ounces. A lot of that's inferred, but our conversion rate in the past has been very good. We've always exactly. converted the inferred. But a lot of that resource we've discovered below 1,080 meters, mm -hmm. so below where the existing shaft project was scheduled mm -hmm. to stop. And that's justified the decision by the board to go deeper, mm -hmm. down to 1330. Great. Fantastic. Well, that sounds all uh, quite perfect. Everything is in good shape. Maybe you want to comment a little bit on the actual quarter also? You are, you are let's say, in, inside uh, the guidance? The, the quarter we're in now, our guidance <laughs> yeah. is, is 54 to 56,000 ounces. Yeah. We tightened that up. For the year? Uh, for the year. Not uh, for the quarter, for, for yeah. The, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. For, the, for the full year. Mm -hmm. We tighten that up, and I think we're comfortable to still achieve somewhere in that range. Mm -hmm. But but let's uh, let's be clear: the the longer term potential of this mine is from mm -hmm. the new central shaft, which mm -hmm. we are uh, will be in production now with the extension in depth February 2020. Yeah. Uh, so that, that that gets us to 80,000 ounces by Absolutely. 2021. Until then, you're going to see somewhere in the range of 55 to 60,000 ounces from this mine for the next for 2018, 2019. That, that's the, mm -hmm. the, the range of annual production. Super. Because that's where four shaft, our, our current production shaft is, is constrained to. Mm -hmm. When the new shaft is in, that's a game changer. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly very good for the business. Yeah, and let's see, the, the AIC are still well below the 900, let's call it the 850 mark, something like that. Yes. Can we uh, say that? Uh, we can. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, we, we, we're certainly comfortable with our full year guidance mm -hmm. at between 810 and 850. We think next year we'll do slightly better than that. We haven't issued mm -hmm. formal guidance on cost yet, but slightly better than yeah. that. We see we, we do expect the cost to trend down just with the additional benefits of economies of scale. Mm -hmm. And then longer term, 80,000 ounces in the new central shaft, we expect those costs to be between seven and 800, all in sustaining. Super, that's perfect. And of course, the dividend is still The dividend the is, run, is, right? is, still, <laughs> is still well covered. Yes. Uh, it, is, uh, it is eight times covered by operating cash yeah. flow. Uh, and I, th I think four times covered by earnings, so, mm -hmm. so very, very healthy dividend cover ratios, uh, yields 5%. While we're still investing, the dividend is likely to stay at this level. Yeah. But once the investment program is finished, uh, we'll be in a position to review that. Perfect. I think that's what your shareholders are going to love. Maurice, Excellent. thank you very much. Lovely interview. And it uh, looks like everything is uh, in good shape and you are full on plan, on budget, on, on track, I would call it. And yeah, keep it going, I would say. Thank you, Jochen. Thank you. Speak to you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there was Maurice Mason, the Vice President of Corporate Development of Caledonia Mining. And you heard it. Everything is in good shape. The mine is up and running perfectly. And the, the, the shaft sinking goes quite well. They are doing additional 250 meters, uh, which was uh, just released. And uh, I think this is uh, yeah, also a big step for the future and uh, as Maurice said, they have easily a mine life of uh, the next 14 years but adding and adding and they keep uh, underground drilling and also the cost situation is fantastic, I would call it between 800 uh, to 850 dollars all in sustaining cost, this is a very very good number, so the company makes money, pays a nice dividend thanks for watching us, bye bye from London